Are we working? Are we good? Okay, good. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's me. Um, I'm going to try to be quiet because one of my kids is already in bed. Um, it's actually a lot. I plan to do this a lot earlier in the day, and let's just say it didn't happen. <laughs> it just did not go according to plan at all. And they're really, and plus I really didn't feel rushed because it wasn't like I have a specific topic in mind, as per the usual. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I really I don't know where they came from. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I'm I'm I, I'm trying to do the videos, trying to get back into the groove of doing them. So this is just me trying to keep up with it. So I decided that for today's video, I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff my grandmother gave me uh, when I was over at her house last time. And I meant to share it with you guys earlier. I just, I'm not going to lie. It got pushed to the wayside. It's the, literally the stuff. I put the stuff down when I came back in the house and it kind of got, stuff got put in front of it. And I, I forgot, I forgot it was there and I came across it. And I was like, oh my God, duh. So, and none of the stuff is new, by the way. It's not new stuff that she bought me. It's stuff, she was cleaning out some stuff and she, my mother, she and my mother are like, yeah, let's give this to, you know, give this to me and then give some, there's a little bit of stuff they gave my sister kind of stuff. So, and it's really cool stuff. So, oh. Sorry. Are you still straight? You're not gonna move? Okay. I'm telling you, gotta get a regular gotta get a regular tripod because just okay, so the first thing is this. Even though it looks I'm, it, it's gonna look brand new, it's because it's been put up and <laughs> she never did anything with it. But it is so cool. Okay, so now you can't see my face, right? Can't. Can't, can't. <laughs> okay, so. This is a big, long, beautiful thing that tells the story of Scotland. Um, and it's got really cool pictures, as you can see. Well, let me go back to it. So we've got up here at the top, we have two cherubs. And then, of course, we have thistles. And two people doing the Highland Fling. And then... A bird and a bagpiper and a hut and then what looks to be like whiskey because you know of course and are you guys able to see all this I hope you're able to see all this and then I'm not sure what that is because I'm looking through to the back so I'm not sure and then there's some Scotty dogs I know those are Scottish Terriers and then there's some Highland cows and then down at the very bottom is some golf Edinburgh Castle and somebody doing some fly fishing. So, and then I, I, I was not going to try to read it through the read what's going on. But sir. In the beginning, when God was creating the world, he was sitting on a cloud telling his friend, the Archangel Gabriel, what he planned for Scotland. You can tell I didn't read this before she gave it to me, can't you? He is just all in bold, really? Okay, I'm, you know what? Oh, it's a dig at the British. <gasps> of course it is, because that's Scottish sense of humor. See, now I'm going to finish reading it for you, because it's... <sighs> Gabriel says he. I'm going to give this place high majestic mountains, purple glens, soaring eagles, streams laden with salmon, golden fields of barley for which a whiskey-colored nectar can be made, green, lush, spectacular golf courses, coal in the ground, oil under the sea, gas. Hold on, hold on, interrupted the archangel Gabriel. Are you not being too generous to these Scots? Back came the almighty reply. Not really. Wait till you see the neighbors I'm giving them. Now, my grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother is from England. Okay, my grandfather's from Scotland, my grandmother's from England. So, <laughs> but she gets, she, she, she loves those jokes. Have a here. Okay, so then this one, this next one, we cruised on Loch Lomond. Oh! 
the thing from Loch Lomond. See? I don't know if this is all getting in the shot or not. I hope it is. It's a pretty big... It's it's kind of close. I get, It's kind of... The camera's closer than this usually is. That's why I look so close. <laughs> so let's see what we've got here. Let's see. We, cro we cruised on Loch Lomond with the Terra Bay boat hirers and then their phone number. And then it's got all the different things that are apparently around Loch Lomond. I wonder where she got this. Huh. I don't know where she got that. I wonder, I'm going to have to ask her where she got that because I'm not sure where she got that. Because I know she hasn't been back over for years. And she didn't go to Scotland last time she was there. Uh, she only visited the cousins, so I don't know. Okay, so the next really cool thing that you can tell are not brand new. Um, they actually belonged to my great-grandmother. Um, she gave me uh, two dolls. Uh, this first one is from Belgium. Let's see, I'm trying to fix this. She's got like a little kink in her dress right here. Let's see. This is the Belgian doll. And she's got the eyes that open and close when you tilt them. Open and closey. And the arms are fully opposable. It feels like that one's coming out. And then so are the legs underneath. I don't think you can see this, but the legs underneath. <clears throat> so, and then she's got, like, the flag on her apron. And then, of course, she's wearing orange dress with the colors around. And she's got her hair in braids. And she's got this, like, little veil thing on the back of her head that kind of blends in with her hair color. But, yeah. According to my grandmother, my great grandmother bought these in the 50s. The 50s or the 60s. She thinks the 50s because they, my great grandmother came over in the mid 50s. After my grandmother, my mother, and my grandfather all came over. They came over in the early 50s. So. Then the last thing is this, ow, dang it, it's got nails coming out of the bottom of the feet or something. I got to figure out what to do about that. I don't, I'm pretty sure she told me where this doll came from, but I cannot for the life of me remember where she said it came from. So, but there's this doll. She's, she's a lot larger. Let's see, she's larger. My grandmother thinks at some point she was on a pedestal or something because the bottom of her feet, there's like a substance on the bottom of her feet, and then there's na nails going in the back of her back of her ankles, and then I've got this one that just kind of like stabbed me. I hope my tetanus is up to date. Um, I don't know if she thinks she was on a platform or something, and she'd been taken off at some point. But yeah, she's got this really cool, really vibrant dress that is unfortunately just coming apart um so like right here the ribbon on the side here is coming off um but she's from the same time period as the other doll and then she's got this layered clothing and then she's she's actually got like stockings on her feet it looks like yeah she's got stockings on and then she's got her hands up like this I can't unbend the elbows, but that doesn't go, that has to stay that way. And then she's got, she's got braids also. Come on, work with me. Thank you. And she, her face is painted on. Let's see, can you see better now? She, her face is painted on and then she's got a little basket on her head. And then there's scraps of ribbon, it looks like, in the, in the basket that's got a, like, a piece of lace over the top. And that is attached to her head. And then there's this cloth in the back which I just well the arms move you see I found out the arms will move I just can't unbend the elbows which is weird but whatever she's really dirty too I don't know where she's been but I thought the face was just like really cool because I mean it's been that long and that I mean that paint is still there like hello 
So, yeah. I thought that was just really cool. Something to share with you guys. I can't, I'm going to have to ask her. I cannot remember where she said where this one was from. But they, my grandmother, great-grandmother bought them both. And they were something left over after her. She passed. She passed several years ago. She passed early, early 2000s. I can't remember if it's before or after my grandfather. I want to say before. I want to say it's before my grandfather. And he passed in 02. So. But yeah, so that's all I've, that's, that's, that's those. I, re I really dug it. I thought it was just like super cool. Because, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I have not, I haven't figured out where I'm going to put them. Yeah, my first conclusion is she told me she got this in Spain, but it doesn't, it doesn't, sound, it doesn't feel right either. I'll have to ask her again. I don't know, I'll have to ask her again. But like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I don't know where I'm going to put them either. Um, I don't feel right about putting them on, on my ancestor altar. I don't know, just something doesn't feel right about doing that. Like my great grandmother wouldn't want me to, but that's a whole nother. She probably she's probably pissed that I have them to begin with, knowing her. She was not a very nice great grandmother. Not at all. Well, not not to a certain vein of the family. She wasn't anybody that came from my grandmother. She just no, just no. She didn't want to be bothered with you. You couldn't. Mm -mm, no, you couldn't be. She couldn't be bothered with you. She didn't care for you and just was some right sometimes downright nasty to you. Just yeah. Um that that's that you don't need to worry about. Yeah, that's not something you needed to know, is it? No, you didn't. Didn't phase me any. Sorry. I always thought she's an old cranky. <laughs> but she's just an old crank anyway. <laughs> Who's just like the exact opposite of my other great grandmother when I was growing up, who I just spent gobs of time with and loved her to death so and it, it's funny you know what the funny thing was and i didn't realize it till i was older that both of the great grandmothers that i've met uh, my other two passed away before i was born but the two that were i was around they're both named after flowers <laughs> one's iris one's lily <laughs> I just thought it was funny, just, you know, something general that I'm going to throw out there that you're going to go, didn't need to know that, but thanks. Because, you know. Um, is there anything else? Yule's coming up. Yule's coming up. Yeah, you didn't need to hear me sing either, did you? Mm -mm. But I did it for you anyway. You're welcome. I'm just, I'm, you can I don't know what's wrong with me right now either. Don't mind me. Like I tell you guys in every video, don't mind me. I'm goofy. I'm a huge goofball. You like it? You don't like it? I don't, have I ever heard anybody complain about it? I'm putting that out in the universe and then it's going to come back. Somebody's going to complain about it now. You watch. But, c'est la vie. So, um, I hope you guys had a good week. I had a good week. I'm going to have a good week next week because I'm only going to work thread ass. Because I'm very fortunate and the company that I work for are, is closed Christmas Eve and Christmas. So it makes it very, very hectic week. But I get a four day weekend. <laughs> I get a four day weekend this year. So I don't know what's going to happen next year when Christmas shifts to a Sunday. Probably not going to get any time off for that. We might, might not. I don't know. And then the next week after that, I get New Year's Day off at least. I don't, no, we don't get New Year's Day off. But yeah, so I will be very frazzled, but very happy to have a couple days off, extra days off. The Lord knows I need them. I still have vacation days that I didn't take this year. Like a ding dong. I have two and a half days. I never took. I just, <sighs> I'm at the work. 
I was going to take a bunch of half days this month, and then the month got away, and then it's too late to schedule them, so they're just going to roll over to my short-term disability, I guess. Kind of sucks. I could have used this two and a half days. I'm eyeballing the cat, just so in case you're wondering why I've got this funny look on my face also, because he's behind possibly instigating stuff. I'm watching you. Uh-huh. I see you. <laughs> Such a dork. You're my cat. <laughs> um see if there's anything else. <sighs> Juicy, good. No, because I'm 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 not involved in any I don't know any gossip. Well not that I'd share it anyway if I knew any. Who am I going to tell? Who am I going to know to tell? Who am I going to know for half some for to tell? Hello? Nobody? I did say I was going to do... Oh. Did I say I was going to do a birth chart video? I did, didn't I? I owe you... I need help, y'all. I just cannot retain anything anymore. I might have early Alzheimer's. Not really. I don't. I don't think. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Come get head scratches. You want to tell everybody hi again? Can you tell everybody hi again? Say hello, people. Hello. I'm normal. I'm silly. I'm a goofball. But my mommy loves me. Yes. Mommy loves you. Now you're going to have a minor free. Don't start stuff. The other cat's under the bed. Don't start stuff with her. Leave her alone. Now I've got cat hair. <sighs> Why? Every time. Why? 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 I thought I, th I thought we had a thing. I thought we had a mutual agreement. Was I wrong? Probably. <laughs> hey, you're starting digging into the door because he wants me to open the door. Hey! Not now! Normal. Not now, sweetheart. Come here. Okay, so we've officially rambled on to the point where I have nothing to tell you guys anymore. Not that I can think of right now, anyway. So, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for continuing to watch 18 minutes of me talk about absolutely nothing whatsoever. It has been fabulous seeing you again. Please, comment down below. Love to hear from you. As always, love you guys. See you next time.